all of the struggles which Eva Kaur overcame and the lessons she shared with people around the world became the focus of an award-winning documentary. It was produced at the Indianapolis PBS station WFYI. Tonight we sit down with one of the producers and photographers on that project who says even though this day is not an easy one, she remains dedicated to the work that still needs to be done and the message that still needs to be spread. She had this way about just you know, she walked into a room and she just owned it. This is a tough day for Micah Brown. It's hit me hard. It's hit her family hard. It's hit the community hard. You know, I'm hurting. The award-winning documentary filmmaker is coping with losing a woman who saved her. She deeply, deeply cared for her cause and the things that uh, she, you know, she preached uh, forgiveness and she cared for those things deeply. But there was just this aspect to her. She was such a loving loving person and we would talk on the phone for hours. Micah first met Eva Kaur in 2010. She was a news photographer for a station in Terre Haute assigned to travel to Auschwitz in Poland to do a five-part series on the Holocaust survivor who called Indiana home. But what a lot, a lot of people don't know is about two months prior to that I, I tried to commit suicide. I was uh, having difficulties you know uh, coming to terms with who I was as a person. I was in a bad place and um, just uh, amazing. It was amazing that she came in my life at that time because she, she changed my life. She changed my perspective on life. Uh, to have someone like Eva who's been through so much, uh, you know, show you that perspective, show you what life really means, what matters. Later, working with producers at WFYI, Micah's documentary work on Eva focused on the survivor who lived to talk about the horrors she endured as a child in a concentration camp. And the lessons of forgiveness that Eva spread through her speeches, interpersonal interactions, and the museum she founded in 1995 in Terre Haute called the Candles Holocaust Museum. Every single day, she got up in the morning and, and, and she preached peace and forgiveness and she wanted to help people. And one of the things that she was really proud of um, and one of the things I'm really proud of her for is that it wasn't just about the Holocaust, it was the bigger picture. It was anti-bullying and it was about sitting with that kid in the class or sitting with that kid in the, in the lunchroom who, who's sitting with no one, you know, go sit with them. That's the kind of stuff that she was preaching to people. And last year, when the documentary about her came out, she told us this is the legacy she hopes will transcend her time on Earth. I would like people thinking of me will say, thank you for teaching me to be happy, to realize that I have the human right to be happy and free of any pain that life imposed on me. Because we all have all kind of pain that life imposes on us. And if they can ever think of me in that way, I think my work is done. That documentary won seven Emmy Awards last month. Producer Ted Green gave his Emmy to Eva. She tweeted a picture of her holding the award, which she said would go into a big trophy case. Well, on this trip to Poland, Eva had been tweeting uh, quite often. This message was from Tuesday. She said her candle staff found the Polish orphanage where she was sent after the war. She had planned to return there tomorrow after 74 years. And Governor Eric Holcomb issued a statement upon learning of her death, which reads in part, the world just lost a giant with Eva Kors passing. Janet and I loved and adored her. Everywhere she went, Eva brought light into darkness and provided comfort to those in pain, unlike anyone we've ever met. Her relentless and optimistic example inspired the world, end quote. In 2017, Governor Holcomb presented her with the Sachem Award. It is the state's highest honor. The Kendall's Holocaust Museum will be closed until Tuesday in honor of Eva. They say information about a public memorial service will be released at a future date.